You gonna have me blow it? You gonna be blowing this? All right. <laughs> You go ahead and do it. How to start the day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. My name is D. And again, I am your pilot for this episode. So, we are headed to go see some friends at one of our favorite places. And I'm pretty sure you guys figured that out by now because we, I feel like we're there almost every month. But we're going to go see some friends, spend the Veteran Day weekend with them. Um, and i like to say thank you, babe, CC, for your service to this country as a U.S. Um, Navy sailor. Um, so, yeah, you guys, she served in the Navy. Your girl, don't, don't mess with her now. She'll do some to you. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> anyways, I love you, baby. Thank you for your service to this wonderful country. Um, so I'm headed to my appointment this morning. So I have a physical therapy appointment. And then when I get back, hopefully y'all hear all this noise. This car is kind of loud, so I do apologize. So when I get back, um, we're going to hook up and get on the road. Now today, the weather is supposed to be, I know there's a tropical, I think it was a tropical storm, the hurricane, the cold or something like that. Um, and so a lot of people are on our, on our Facebook groups and everything, a lot of people on the Eastern Carolina Facebook group, were um, counseling their trips, but if I could just show you guys, it looked like a regular day. It looks like a regular day. Nothing is going on here. Like I said, it was raining earlier, but it's not now. Um, and I don't know if it's gonna rain later on today. I know it was like a 70 to 80% chance of rain, which I mean, it's going to rain, but it'll be off and on. So I don't know what's happening, but we're going to pray. We're going to trust in God. We're going to protect and order our steps all the way there. Uh, so I ain't worried about that. Definitely not worried about it. So, well, other than that, fam, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Just got done with physical therapy. Boy, let me tell you, they be working me over there. I feel like I did a whole workout this morning. I hope my watch counter is a workout. I don't know. But we're done with physical therapy. And I'm on my way back now to the camper. I know they started um, getting some things together already. So that way when we get back, we just hook up and keep going. I mean, this sun is out here this morning. Which I'm so glad that it, it, didn't, it didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out. Look at God. So yeah, he blessed today. He just, I know y'all gonna travel, gonna make sure it's safe. And I know he just didn't do it for us. But, you know, I like to thank that, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, so on my way back to the camper, we're going to hook up, and I'll see you guys in that clip. Stay tuned. Look, y'all get back. Somebody already starting on hooking the stuff. That's what I'm talking about. What would I do without him? A lot. <laughs> nah. But I'm definitely grateful that he already started. So... Sound like Cece bringing in the slides or something. Well, I thought she was. All right. I guess I got some little bit of stuff to do, so let me go ahead and move this stuff. But she bringing the slide with these stuff up under it. I'll check the tires and all that before we go of course all right fam let's get this show on the road all right see i'm sweating that means i did some work so my son is still over there trying to get the stuff taken care of on out excuse me on the outside i figure i'll try to go ahead and set up our gadgets so i have to worry about it later so we have the furion 
backup camera. And how I get all this stuff plugged up, I have the mount here. So the Garmin, and then I have a magnet, which I put on the back here by Bullet Point Mounting Solutions. So it all sticks on to the dashboard. So basically it eliminates me having stuff up on the window um, cause I really don't like that. And then with this mount, it stays in place. So, and it's pretty strong. I used to have one for the Garmin, but that one, it just didn't work out because the mount kept moving. But bullet, um, what's a bullet point mount has other different mounting solutions. So I just use one with a little arm, kind of like a phone type thing and got that connected. So I have this three kind of like cigarette lighter um, adapter charger thing that I got from Walmart. Nothing fancy. And I plug everything up there. Um, so the GPS goes in there. And the other, the only other thing I normally have plugged in is our bodega fridge. So I bought because we have the long cord that reaches to the back. So the bodega fridge is normally plugged up there too as well. So I plug everything up to this one piece and then we're good. So this is what it looks like. I call it my command center. This is what it looks like when everything is mounted. Hopefully you can see it. It's not too dark in here. So the GPS and the monitor. Normally I have another cord running through here down to the seats and the floor. And that's normally the refrigerator. But since it's a short trip, we decided not to use it. Everybody better bring snacks. All right, so that is set up. And take this bag of trash out. And I think we're ready to go. So we got enough room in the back. I need to put that def, the def inside the truck. And I also have this for the kids whenever they would need to charge their phones and stuff like that. How much power this got? I just need to be charged. Maybe I can charge it real quick. But so this is a Ryobi 800 watt power inverter. So they use that for their phones, computers mainly for the cell phones and then Kreisha used it too whenever she has to edit on the road and she need to get stuff done um she'll plug in her computer to that and what i love about it is it's not a power bank per se but it's a power bank with the tools i already have i already have ryobi tools and i have enough of these chargers so i have them all charged up but i keep them under seat um i keep like two or three make sure i have it for the road and i have never ran out <laughs> so it, it does a pretty good job um, for charging so it has the so it's dual power so I can either plug it up to a cigarette lighter I can plug it up to the car just like I do the fridge I can plug it up to the car and use it just like that so we either plug it up here we have a, um, the cord for it um, you plug it up to a battery or you can use the portable battery packs um, now yeah you get more power out of it when you have it plugged to a battery um, and then I guess the level power is the battery, then the battery pack, and then the cigarette lighter. It'll give you the least amount of power. Um, oh, I guess it shows it right here. Yeah. So the car will give you 800 watts, and the battery give you 300 watts, and then you plug up to the cigarette lighter, just 120 watts. So we really don't use cigarette lighter. Um, the 18 volt battery pack is good enough, um, but if you plug up to a, a little battery, you get like a little one of them cheap batteries, whatever, um, and it'll give enough watts. But we never needed that, so. We're fine. Yep, but it's a power inverter, dual power. So 18 volts or car adapter. So, and this is where you plug it in at. All right, so let me see if I can go get this charged for a little bit. And uh, have this back there for them, put the other batteries back there. All right, guys, let me stop rambling. We need to get on the road, it's already 10.30, which isn't bad. I, I was hoping we'd leave here by 11, which it looked like we will be leaving out here by 11. So the only stuff is out is the kitchen slides, which CC is finished taking care of that, so. We're doing pretty good on time. All right. All right, you guys. So CC's about to pull in to park. We are all hooked up, ready to go. It's 11-11, good time. I was hoping to be out here by 11 o'clock. So, all right, we'll move out the way. We got all the chalks right, Gabe? Perfect. And we're headed to go see our friends.
right, you guys. So we'll see you when we reach our destination. All right, family, it's windy, but we have made it here to see our friends. And I'm pretty sure from the clip, you can tell where we at. So we're gonna get ourselves together. We're gonna put this stuff up, we'll help my son, and then you guys sit back and watch. Same thing, just a different site. <laughs> Water is leaky. Oh, tell we got a leak. We are at site G zero nine zero, and I think we have a leak. Yeah, we do. the next day so I figured I'd go ahead and brush my teeth get myself together I was like 8 o'clock in the morning CC's on a walk I just went on a walk and I left here so I got to take care of this leak and try to figure it out so I'm gonna try to take the underbelly apart and probably say just wait till you get back because you got more time of course when I talk to somebody else in the back he wants to start yelling <laughs> but that's life uh, so I'm brush my teeth get myself together and go out here and see if I already have the tools to take this underbelly apart. If not, then I'll wait until uh, we get back. And I just read because we have more days in between our trip. So hopefully just by me, right now I'm, I'm using the dry camping mode. So water's only pushed through the tube when needed. And hopefully that should prevent leaks and everything. Um, well, so far it seems like it's preventing the leak. When I turn the water off and go dry camping, it prevents the leaks. So. All right, y'all, well, let me brush my teeth and tend to this boy. who already coming in here. Yes, sir. Do not let me on her bed. <laughs> He's not letting you on his bed. Uh -huh. Is his bed put out or is it just? It's put out. All right, well, you can get up there. Well, he about to start, yeah, they about to fall, start fighting there. All right, fam, so I'm back up under here. So I don't know if you see these little Spot right there that's where we're leaking and they just start leaking here I think over time then the water's all back here too oh, this is kind of like so it's pulling so probably want to drill a little holes in here to release water first and then go ahead and start taking it down so I think I may do that just drill some holes to release some water We shall see. If ain't one thing, it's another. Full time RV boys. Even weekend RVs. I'm pretty sure y'all go through this too. I 
Sorry, um, this is what I get. All this water. I gotta figure out where it's coming from. That's what the other bedroom looks like. Do I know what I'm doing at, really? So we'll figure this out. So I get this water out of here. That's a lot of water. And apparently, it's been having overtime. So. Alright. Let me get a trash bag, get this insulin, insulation up. All right, so I had to go a little further, which I already took the screws out, but I still had to get up there. So I figured I'm gonna get all up there to figure out if it looks wet all up there. Oh, right, most of the water collected back here. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on up there, but it look like it's saturated and wet too up there. So, I don't know. About to find out. I'm trying to think of what tank that is. That would be the black tank for the second bathroom. So I know it's not black tank water. It's all clear. It's just brown from the insulation and sitting. So apparently it's going on for a while. All right, let's figure this out. All right, I'm gonna take a break, get some breakfast. But got water running, but I don't see no leakage right now. So I don't know if it's rainwater or what. And if it's rainwater, I gotta figure out how it's coming in. Cause I did. We had some major rain for the last couple of days. So I don't know how it leaked in. What the case may be. And how I got back there. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. Alright, fam. I'm about to get some meat. I'll keep y'all informed for the rest of this video. Alright. Thanks to my son forcing me to take a break. What are you gonna do? Take your scooter? You're gonna go to the park. Go to the park with my children. Well, let's pick up. You wanna pick up your bike? Yeah. Pick your bike up and put it back that way. You don't wanna leave it on the ground like that. Why? Can I go to the journey? They can, yeah. So, uh, I can see it up here. Mr. Mr. What? Mr. Over here. All right, come on. You grab your scooter. Let's go. But so I'm trying to let it dry out before I put anything else under it. So maybe later today we'll put it back together. Yeah, it's nasty. We don't eat eel stuff. You wanna do what? We don't eat eel stuff. We don't eat eel stuff. No. <laughs> I like. You know what we're doing with our friends camp right there. Come so out. Cece, yeah. Cece is gone with them right now to the store. And then we go to the store. Mm-hmm. Stop it. All right. We'll see you guys at the park. All right, so made it to the park, but this area was closed last time we was here. Uh, so I got a little pavilion area out here, with some chairs, tables. You wanna bring your scooter inside? Grab your scooter, bring it inside. Got the dog park over there. I know we don't have a sign. Go ahead. I don't do high a sign. I don't do high a sign. So the dog park is there. Playground. We'll see the area inside, which is pretty nice. Umbrellas in case it get too much. Too windy. And Gaga Pit. So. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit on down while he plays. Enjoy myself, relax. Take this break before I get back to work. Oh Lord, this boy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go play with him. So now do you notice it? <laughs> you guys see the little turtle? I won't get too close. I won't interrupt his yeah. voyage wherever it's going. <laughs> you see it right there. Don't get too close to it. Yeah. 
Let us speak, little turtle. But you guys, this is the same area we was in. Yes, Grayson. No, we don't pet turtles. So they can bite. This is the same area area we were in. This is the same area we was in for uh, my buddy Jeff retirement. Um, so nice little lake area. Just be careful sitting out here, you guys. Them alligators may get you. Now, let me get this one on. For Veteran Weekend, it's not packed as I thought it was going to be, which is good. The alligator's going to get you if you fall in? Well, let's not fall in. How about that? Yeah, it's going to be sad. All right. All right, so we about to do nap time. We about to do nap time and uh, wake back up. Okay, son, stop playing with that toilet. What? We're already trying to figure out leaks around here. Huh. Your nose. One, two, three, blow. One, two, three, blow. Oh, a car. And how are you going to take a nap with a car? for a nap well just get back up and keep swinging all right you guys so Cece got the smoker the grill and only still there solo stove but I gotta clean this so last time she cooked in it I guess the pan the drip pan wasn't set properly I wonder why this didn't have any liquid in it um so now I'm trying to get all this stuff out that I can all the little little sob grease that I can yeah, so I can clean it. It needs to be clean. So, figure why not take time to do it now. My son had put up the black zone. I'm gonna fix that later. In a moment. Oh my God! Why not let it get like this? All right, you guys, let me finish cleaning this and then I'll show you what we get into next. All right, you guys, so we out here, CC on the Blackstone getting burgers and bacon. It's fried on the fries with some cheese. Not cheese fries, but she getting the cheese ready for the burgers. We about to got friends over and we got flies. So this is our lunch. We'll see if we make it to dinner. I don't know. No. Let me show y'all my plate before it disappears. And y'all don't see it. Ooh. You want to show your plate too? We got a Happy Meal. We got a burger, fries, and a car. It's a Happy Meal. <laughs> like a Happy Meal. <laughs> got bacon, ketchup, mayo on the buns, toasted. We got no lettuce and tomatoes, Yeah, bring another knife out. Never mind. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, we're on our way back to the park for the third time today. And this boy decided to take a break and sit here and enjoy the pond. You taking a break? What are you doing then? Oh, you waiting for me? I'm walking too slow for you. Yeah. Oh. Well, excuse me. 
I walk too slow for him. All right. Well, we're almost here to the park. Oh, okay. Well, we're almost here to the park. All right. All right, fam. So we are headed to the store, me and Grayson. Uh, everybody else is out doing their own thing. Um, so I figured it doesn't stop. Still got to get work done. So somebody got to do it. So I'm about to head to the store, get what I need. And then... Me too. <laughs> you going with me too? <laughs> you going to get what you need? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Toy. Oh, a toy. A <laughs> new toy. All right. So we'll go see what we get into. Um... And that's pretty much it. All right. Let's see what store we go to. Either Home Depot or Lowe's. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, this one. Ow. I hurt my booty. You hurt your booty? Yeah. Oh, no. Can't do that. All right, you guys. So, we made it to Lowe's. Hey, it's Yogi Bear. It's Yogi Bear. I don't think it's a Yogi Bear. No, it's Yogi Bear behind a box. Behind a box? Yeah, on a box. Oh, we'll see. Right, let me about the truck. Let's make our way into Lowe's. I'm gonna put you in a basket, okay, sir? No, why? Because you're heavy. Can I have boo boo? No, because you're heavy. Not no. because you got a boo boo. But maybe because you got a boo boo too. Don't need to slow me down like I slowed you down on the park today. <laughs> Tell All you right. what's straight. I said, hi. There's somebody left there. Yeah, I knew we were going to need it, and we didn't have to walk that far. All right. We need to get all the... Lowe's, here we come. No, it's in that one. that one, the other day, that one. Yeah, here it is. We're going to hit the speed box, sir. Got all the grills and the wood out here. We may do a fire tonight. Huh? Let me do a fight with your mama tonight. I don't know. That's up to her. Where's marshmallow? Marshmallow? Uh-huh. All right. I'm going to go in here find what I need to find. That is lawnmower. All right, guys. So we did get the insulation. So hopefully this will work. I was looking for white. They didn't have white. They only had pink. Um, so I got two rows better to have more than what's needed and if i don't use the second roll i can at least bring it back tomorrow so i wake up in the morning and start this um show get the show on the road with this installation and i've got the recording inside me looking because i you know you're on the track do something so you don't think that's about it okay. you sure it's not a truck let me see if my keys work for it oh my keys turn the lights on must be ours <laughs> Thank you so much for holding it for me. You are a big help. All right, so this is the one I got, R19. That's all that's available. It don't say her name. It don't say her name. Yeah. It say truck. Oh, it said truck. It say R truck. Oh, R truck. Okay. Hope I don't need one. I'm gonna get you out. Yeah, I do. Oh, you get out yourself, huh? Yeah, I'm a big boy. Ah, you sure is a big boy. Yeah. You're my big boy. Cause I'm a big boy. All right, well, can this big boy? Oh, Jesus! Boy, boy. <laughs> get in his seat. I'll buckle up while I put this card up. All right. We said I go far. <laughs> so about to head back. Y'all, that was a 20 minute drive too. What's that sound? That's the little cop thing you call it. Nice. They won't let you know they provide 24 hour surveillance. So try some if you want to, sucker. <laughs> 
Make sure I got the key to get back in here. Yep. Got that key. Yep, yeah, right there. Okay. All right, let's get it started and get back to the camper. Somebody got a sucker too. So they couldn't get a toy, but they got food. You need me to open it? Yeah. All right, you guys, we'll see you back at the camper. Yeah, I just want to show you guys. Yeah, you see the Ferris wheel? Yeah. I've never been down to the boardwalk. I always try to go when I'm down here, but we just never get a chance to do it. Um, but yeah, this, the boardwalk here at the beach. Never been there, always wanted to go, um, but just, it never worked out. So either we changed plans, no one wants to go, but it never worked out. Um, so maybe one day, I don't know when, maybe I'll have to come back and do it or something. I don't know. But I just wanna throw that in there. <laughs> As we, never been to that, I always wanted, I wanted to do the Ripley's Aquarium, the Wax Museum. You know how you just want to try stuff out when you're, um, no oh, shoot, try stuff out when you're visiting places. So that's what I wanted to do, but like I said, it never happened. So, all right, maybe, maybe some other time. We'll see. I guess the boardwalk will always be here and I can always come back. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's get back to this camper. All right, guys, we made it back. But look who made the appearance to make it back to the camp. It's about being back. He wasn't here when I was here. But did you have fun? You was at the basketball court? Yeah. You school anybody? Sure you did. Here we go. Sure you did. Now watch your mom come out there. And then you know you're going to begin school. Or you can stand on the sideline. Of the court. Waiting to play. But all right, so we back. You already eat? No. Burgers are somewhere around here. The bacon is up there. I don't know what the burger, the burger must be in the oven. Yep, burgers in the oven, buns here, and that's french fries, so you can warm all that up. And that bowl right there. So. It's, a, it's, a bowl right it's in the oven. But yeah, all right we have with burgers and fries. fries. For lunch. But I don't know what we do for that. I guess dinner is fin fin for yourself. So. All right, y'all. I'm about to do something. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so you know me and Grishan just got back. So he's ready to go to bed. So it's time. He's going to need a shower tonight. He got into a lot. Not a shower. He's going to need a bath. So since our tub is somewhat deep, we're able to put a stopper in there and kind of get him like a bathtub, I guess. Um, if he sits in, it'll come up to his stomach. If we fill it all the way up, It'll come up to at least above his belly button, so which is I think it's pretty good. Um, enough at least for RV shower until we move out and upgrade, maybe. But yeah, so that's his shower going. It's all cleaned out, hot water running. We'll see how long that lasts, and then we'll start doing his uh cold water so it ain't too hot for him. All right, you guys, we'll come back when Grayson's done with his shower. See, I, I do these things too. See, I, I do these. Take care of the kids, you know, and all that. You know, make sure they take showers, get baths, get ready for school, you know. So, that's mostly what I do with Kevin. So, I was saying, I don't do a lot, but I do that little one right there, keeps me on my toes. So, all right, let me take back to my duties. He ain't there watching TV in the bed. Mm -mm. Must, must be must be nice living the life alright you guys I'm out of here let me see your band aid no. let me see it with yours and because you have a boo boo yeah it's a what does the ring oh that's what it says and this is tacky Okay. All right, family. Well, we made it back from hanging out with family and friends, or just friends, just family. We were back, and I think we're about to go to bed. Why are you still it's recording tired. me? So, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. And I'll see you in the next episode of Hanging with Chavis. Mm.
Mm-mm-mm.